Science and technology is moving at a very fast pace, and during recent years prominent figures have emerged. One of these individuals is that of Bill Gaines. Many people are aware of Bill Gaines, and know him as the man behind Microsoft, pushing the company to what it is today. He's dedicated his nearly limitless fortune and time into forming the non-profit organisation known as the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, named after himself and his wife, of whom helped to start the organisation in order to help tackle a lot of the problems that plague the world. Not only has this proven to be an incredibly fruitful endeavour, causing dramatic changes in impoverished countries, as well as saving a countless amount of lives, but has led to incredible technological breakthroughs in the realms of sustainability and industrial revolution in poverty-stricken areas. The Gates Foundation has the following message on their website. To bring about the kind of changes that will help people live healthier and more productive lives, we seek to understand the world's inequalities. Whether the challenge is low yield crops in Africa, or low graduation rates in Los Angeles, we listen and learn so we can identify pressing problems that get little attention. Then we consider whether we can make a meaningful difference with our influence and our investments, whether it is a grant or a contract. Bill Gates has come forward over the years with many interesting predictions. He's vocal about the issues we're currently facing in the world, and has said that he's trying to work with the world's best researchers in order to tackle these. Back in 2018, various news outlets reported that he started working on a microchip. The microchip in question has been described as being tiny, around the size of a pepper flake. The idea behind this is that it would be embedded inside a patient, and would be able to track their medical records, while also keeping them updated. William Grover, who works at the University of California, was given a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Grover's lab is using microchips that will go directly into patients. Each of these microchips is unique, and the researchers have said that one of the benefits is that patient records will be much safer, and that clinical mistakes will be greatly reduced. The grant will last 18 months. This is just the latest thing that Bill Gates is working on. He's claimed that by 2035 he wants no more poverty. In his 2014 Gates Annual Letter, Bill Gates made the shocking prediction that by the year 2035, there will be no such thing as extreme poverty throughout the world, and that every single person on the face of the planet will be above that extreme poverty line, some of which are surviving on less than 1.25 US dollars a day. Though many skeptics scoffed at the idea, it turned out that given the demographic data compiled every single year since 1970, there's been a dramatic drop from that roughly 2 billion people below the extreme poverty line, to the modern projections back in 2015, to roughly only 700 million people being below the poverty line. This dramatic drop has been made all the more apparent when one takes into consideration the percentage of total population, in regards to the global extreme poverty level that went from a whopping 54%, to only 10% of the world population being below the extreme poverty line. So what do you guys make of this new microchip that's been developed, and would you have one embedded under your skin? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.